Welcome to another Honeywell video tutorial. On this video, we will see how to define the dip switches on the NetAxis 123 revision 6 panel. Before we begin, remember that it is printed on the dip switch box the label ON as to mark the ON position. Another reference is that ON is away from the printed numbers. Dip switches 1 to 5 help us to set the address of a panel when it will be configured within a 485 loop. It is important to take into account that these follow a binary configuration. If it is the first panel on a loop or a standalone panel, dip switch 1 must be on. If it's the second panel, dip switch 2 must be on. If it is the third panel, dip switches 1 and 2 must be on, and so on. You can assign a panel to the 31st position with all 5 dip switches on. Dip switch 6 enables the web interface of the panel and makes it a gateway or main panel. This must be only on on a standalone panel or the first panel of a loop. Dip switch 7 deletes the current network settings of the panel and forces it back to the default IP address of 192.168.1.150 with subnet mask 255.255.255.0. If turned on, you must log in to the web interface to change the IP address according to the network requirements. Dip switches 8 and 9 set the panel as an end of the loop device. They must be on on a standalone panel or the first and last panels of a 45 loop. Dip switch number 10 is system reserved and must not be changed. For more information and videos, please visit our webpage honeywelldiscoveredtraining.com.